Hello, good morning to you. Many thanks for joining us on Galaxy. Today, my name is Justin Akadoni. I welcome you to this auspicious edition of okay. Galaxy Today. <laughs> and of course, um, I am Uche Unyekuluje. As usual, it's Thursday. We'll be looking at um, lifestyle and um, no, maybe not lifestyle. Today is um, International Women's Day. And so we'll be looking at um, press for women's progress. Right, Justin? Yes, that's the 2018 theme um, for this year. Um, basically, the International Women's Day is a day just set aside by the United Nations and to uh, advocate for the rights of women, the right uh, for gender equality, and the right not to be subjugated, the right not to be put to the back door because women are as much important as we place and value on men. Women are our mothers, women are our sisters, and women are our wives. Welcome once again. We have a, a certified life coach with us here in the studio this morning. It's been a while. Very, no, not just a while, it's been a long while. Okay, welcome with us, Benga Ademu Jimmy, certified life coach. Good morning and good to have you here today. Uche Mania, <laughs> are you not I am <laughs> How are you? Good morning. Just good morning. Good Happy morning, yeah. International Women's Day. Thank you. So I hear you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> same to, yeah, but today, same to you. Okay, same yeah. to you. But I would say Happy New Year to you, though. Okay, it's that's true. We've not seen this year. Mm -hmm. Happy New Year. All my viewers, all my fans, shout out to you. Happy New Year. Thank God for Uche and Justin who brought me back to, to the show. And I want to say Happy International Women's Day. All our women are hello. Right. A, a wise man must not offend a woman. <laughs> one thing, you are a man, and we are going to be talking about women's right, press for freedom. Yeah. One thing I just um, really don't understand is that this is the 21st century, and uh, when women should be seen as um, you know just um, equal with men, other people still feel women should still be taken out uh, in backstage. backstage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do you really, do, what do you think about it, really? Um, if we need to go by the laws and the dictates at which the manufacturer manufactured all the products. Mm. Um, we need to understand one fact that we are equal. Mm. Now, our functions may be different. Our position per engagement may differ. Our configuration, the capacities we have, the skills that we acquire mm. may be different. But the truth is, as human beings, we are human beings. Women are not animals, men are not plants. Mm. We are human beings. So for me, I don't believe in the theory that says women should sit in the kitchen or women should be taking care of babies. As a matter of fact, anywhere I have the opportunity to talk. I tell women, singles don't marry a man who will not allow you to explore your dream. Mm. Don't marry a man who will not allow you to, you know, raise your vision in life. I mean, I don't know where the theory came from, especially for Africa. Mm. Sometimes they go that after all, men are meant for, uh, women are meant for kitchen. For me, I don't believe in that. Okay, so still talking about um, press for progress, I mean, when it comes to career now, mm -hmm. do you not think that some other women, some women should understand that there should be balance to life in pursuit? Yeah, career? as a matter of fact, oh, remember last year we did work-life balance, yeah, yes, on this show, you know, mm -hmm. and I show them different, you know, spheres and different colors of your life, different departments, mm -hmm. and how to balance it. Yes, I support that um, 120%. We need to balance that, especially with... Um, Especially if you are living in the place like Lagos, mm. you know, um, where commuting or traffic can take like one of, our, one, of our, one of our feet or one of our seats of your time in a day. Mm. You need to plan, you need to be strategic. Mm. And I said to someone, I said, if I'm working in Lekki, for example, mm. I would rather be a tenant in Lekki than to be a landlord in Ikurudu working in Lekki. Mm. Does that make sense to somebody? Yes, it does. Yeah. If I'm working in Yanomaja, I would rather be a tenant in Yanomaja than to be a landlord in Maui. Mm. And you see, the irony of life, when you buy a land, they don't call you landlord. But when you own a house, they call you landlord. Instead mm. of house lord. Mm. 
Mm. Do you get it? Mm -hmm. So there is there is no I don't know what you will really attach to this fact that I'm living in my own house. It doesn't matter how far mm. the place is and then uh, you are working somewhere. So that's one of the critical factors that is affecting our productivity and lifespan in this mm. part of the world. Yeah. You can't sit inside a bus and fumes and exhaust, you know, from different cars coming to you and it 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 brings so many sicknesses mm. to your body. Okay, that's good to know. All right, so since it's an International Women's Day and then the focus is more about women, yeah. let's go back to your mom now. What is it about women that you love so much that you think uh, should be encouraged and then what parts of uh, women should be empowered? Yeah, I, I've i listed about 12 different areas here that I would like to share with our mothers, with our women, our wives at home, um, our sisters, our cousins, friends, Daughters. as long as you're a woman. I would love to share this with, with them today. Now, the language we use to communicate with ourselves, especially between men and women, is so powerful that we need to be careful the way we do things because women generally, they reflect a lot. Mm. And most women, they are deep thinkers, you know. So number one here, I say, don't allow yourself to be held back in achieving what you want to achieve. Mm. That is a place of wisdom. If you're a wife and your husband is not supporting your dream for now, I tell people, it means you have not showed your husband enough reasons for results that will come out of that dream. Mm -hmm. If you show him enough results, he may not support now, but with time, he will. He will. People like us, maybe because the way we were raised, or because of where we lived some time ago, uh, when my wife says I want to do something, as long as I see her passion and I know she's convinced about that, I give my 100% support. Mm -hmm. As long as it is not kidnapping or yahoo yahoo. <laughs> okay, but is it like um, the average, uh, let's bring it down home now to Nigeria. Would you, uh, in your opinion, think, uh, would you say rather that um, the average Nigerian man is very supportive of um, his um, wife? Or his um, <sighs> counterpart, you know, a daughter to just them um, succeed even when uh, they are men in between. For instance, give uh, give uh, give an instance of where there's a family of five, mm. and uh, a father has um, four uh, girls and then um, one um, boy, you know, and uh, the girls came before the guy, and the guy the guy came much later, you know. Most uh, Nigerian men would actually just want to put all of the resources on the men and say, after all, and these women are going out of the house. So, do you really think that Nigerian men actually believe that um, women are really very important in the society and, of course, in the family? Mm. Okay, number one, I'm not working in Ministry of Home Affairs, mm. so I may not have statistics, but I'm going to be talking from my own personal experience. Um, as a life coach, as a therapist, mm -hmm. what I've seen over the years, mm -hmm. people complaining when they bring cases to my office. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the last 20 years, in the last 15 years, the ratio is very, very high. The percentage of men who wants to put all their resources on men, very, very high. I can say that. But in the last 10 years, Especially in the last five years, I've seen it dropping. Now there is the more enlightenment, exposure, education, you know. People are getting to know more now. Mm -hmm. And result is proven to them. Because there is what we call um, gender equality education performance now. Now you see that our girls are our girls are you know a kind of raising their shoulders in schools especially with our themselves. boys they are pushing themselves mm -hmm. you see awards you see competitions you see results they are actually moving in fact as of now i don't know who is having upper hand between boys and girls mm. you understand so that is changing the perspective of fathers, and that is common to a particular tribe in Nigeria, which I'm, I'm not going to mention. 
<laughs> that they don't really believe in gay child. Do you understand? After all, they will go and marry. After all, they will go and bear another person's name. So that name to them is their own virtue, mm. is their own asset. <laughs> mm. So let me train the boy who is going to retain my asset forever. Mm. But in the last five years, like I said, the game is changing. Trust me. The game is changing because a lot of education is coming up. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, spread across um, the world today, what, we, what we've learned and what we've read, that there are going to be uh, like um, several protests around the world for women you know, conversing for their rights to equality, rights to be better recognized, mm. their rights to the same um, level of opportunity when it comes to employment. Uh, do you think in Nigeria here, women are actually... Uh, giving themselves all the, or as in pushing themselves forward, is another thing to talk about equal opportunities, is another thing for, for you to have the zeal and... Uh, is another thing design. for you to be qualified? Yes, that's the thing. Yeah. Do you really think that women in Nigeria are actually ready to, you know, handle the hands of the affairs of this country at top places? Okay, what you just mentioned mm. is by number 11 point here. Okay, mm. okay which is? Now, which is women get empowered and support each other. I'm mm. going to give you a very practical example. In 2011, Mrs. Jubri contested for president in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Have you forgotten? Mrs. Yeah. Jubri. Mm -hmm. And guess what? During the primaries in the Congress, the only vote in her box was her own vote, only one. Are you telling me there are no other women as delegates in, on that field that to support day her. to support her? 2015, another example, Professor, Professor Mrs. Kowa Party, what's her oh. name now? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll remember. Now, this woman, Professor, I think he, she lectures in Nife, well, then, over from Awolo University, you know. Same thing happened to her. How many votes did she get? As a matter of fact, more men supported her than two mm -hmm. women. But why is this the case? Really? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying, women, empower yourself and support each other. Mm. Maybe I should ask you, what, what, what would you think is really the case? Why women ordinarily would not really want to push um, um, themselves push them towards um, each other? Well, what is the issue really? Okay, well, it could, it could be a whole lot of reasons, mm. you know. And the so, okay, and in a competition, for those who some of them low service. No, no, looking team. at it from this angle of someone who, who tried to contest it, and it could just be that they see still that stigma of she's a weaker vessel we need a man how can a woman think of becoming the president you know that mentality and nigeria has not got into that stage where they think that leadership mm. can actually come to the power of women they still feel that uh, they are weaker when it comes to decision making and, rest. and some it could be jealousy it could mm -hmm. be envy it could be envy fear. low self-esteem lack of self-confidence mm. these are few reasons that you know mm. and some of them will say why not me mm. Mm. Why you? If you are, why don't you come why out? Why can't you come you out? Come out? Yeah. Do you understand? As a matter of fact, I respect and I throw my salute to our women in the National Assembly. Mm. Okay. Trust me. I don't want to mention names. Trust me. Majority of them. I've not heard many of them speaking, but a few that I've listened to, come on. The boldness is beyond that of Lion. And their points are genuine. Their points are good in mm. supporting, you know, grassroots politics and grassroots um, policies So you're, in are Nigeria. you saying that you have the mentality that when, when women are empowered, when you invest into women, there's every tendency that they can measure or give you, okay, I don't, I, I don't want to play, put this as a contest, but they can deliver. You are Uche, sure let me tell you one thing. Women are like VAT, value added tax. Mm. When, whatever you put into a woman, mm. you get when, when, you, when you put semen in a woman, she gives you a child. Mm. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Any man, any society that wants to prosper in life, mm. go and check your good books, both Quran and the Bible. It's clearly stated. You will see it. Not as a principle, I mean, not as a law, but I mean, sorry, not as a doctrine, but as principles of life. Go and check. You will see that women always birth new things. They deliver. Mm. It is not in the place of a man to deliver. No, it's not. Mm. no, it is in the place of a man to, to impregnate, push the vision there. Then let the women do one, let them deliver. Do you understand? Mm. So I call women value added life instead of VAT, V A L. Mm. 
mm. they add value to life. That does not mean we don't have some terrible ones among them. Oh, yes. Don't get it wrong, it's But most of the time, check. I'm a student of national transformation, mm -hmm. and I've studied nothing less than 60% of cases around the world. And I always see, I can give you names. Is it, do you want to talk about Rosa Parks? Who is, who is Martin Luther King Jr. without Rosa Parks? Mm. Do you get it? Go and check. Women always, even if it is a man that will eventually lift up the banner, it is a woman somewhere in one corner who will do the job. Mm. Okay. And also, today, uh, um, on the International Women's Day, is actually another opportunity to expose a sexist agenda where um, women are put to the back um, door. And again, to talk about issues that affect women, specifically domestic violence. Uh, mm. Let us talk about that for a bit now, you know. With uh, this um, theme in focus pressing for the progress of um, women, don't you think it's high time we begin to get more policies and more thrusts that will actually focus on how women cannot really die just because they want to be in marriages? Now, mm. the first thing you need to understand is this. Who are the policy makers? The question is, are they not white beaters? Mm. <laughs> are they not? So you need to understand the, the foundation. You can only make laws that will, be, that will benefit every citizen if you are not a victim of that law. Mm. Do you get it? So many people, when you talk about law policy, law policy, fine, so that things can be stable, so that things can be in order. Mm. The question is, who are the people making those laws? Mm. Now, let me give you an example. National Assembly, Sometime was it last year? I think early last year. For them to approve eighteen thousand naira or fifty-four thousand naira minimum wage for our workers was a problem for them. But to approve some billions of naira to buy cars for themselves was like this fast, fast. So until we get people, last week I was doing a training <coughs> for some leaders across universities in Nigeria. And when they interviewed me, I said to them, a high morally certified president can never do anything meaningful with the corrupt National Assembly. Put 10 Buaris in government. With this National Assembly, he will not do nothing, quote him anywhere. He can't perform anything. Because there are laws in place, and those are the people that will ensure that those laws work. PIB bill. For how many years has it been National Assembly? But if it is something that will benefit them, they will quickly do what? Pass it. So same thing here for our women, our wives, about uh, abuse and all that. If you don't have men who don't beat their wives and women who are vocal, and that's why I said here, they said, it's too hard, I'm scared. That's just who I am. Let me just sit down. I have tried before. It didn't work out. I am not ready. Maybe someday men will fight for us. Nobody will fight for you. You got to fight for yourself. And let me quickly say this. Protest may not change more than 5 to 10% of what you are looking for. Do you understand? Protest. Are you following what is happening in South Africa? Are you aware that some 42 boys led by a 37-year-old boy, chased Zuma out of government. Are you aware? Mm. These guys are not, more, they, they are not up to 50 in, their, in the National Assembly. But you know what? They've been, in, they've been on the process for nine years. And in the last three years, they ensured that the heat was up. They did not give in to any threats until they saw, they had evidences. They caught back then that, you know what? You have points here. And you know what? They successfully mobilized people in the house to chase the president. The president resigned the last minute. Mm -hmm. He thought he could escape. This is what I expect the youth of today, instead of abusing themselves on social media, instead of cursing themselves, calling tribes and names, you are Igbo, you are useless, you are Yoruba, you are idiot. Is that what they are supposed to be doing? Giving politicians leverage and power to be, to be, to be messing up with their future. Same thing women. Women should gather themselves together. Women should stop agonizing. They should stop organizing and mobilize themselves together into that house of assembly. But because they are mothers. There was a call for 
35 percent inclusion for women mm -hmm. at uh, you know at the you know the hems of affairs in the national assembly and all of that although the bill was um, was not actually uh, didn't pass didn't they were not passing you know. so but don't you think uh, <laughs> women should uh, maybe the women at the national assembly they should push again and represent that's what i'm that saying bill. that's what i'm saying that they should not give up that's why i gave you i'm not ready I'm, i've tried before we are tired we are scared no there's nothing like that mm -hmm. listen to me if he who keeps his life lose it but when you lay your life you have it back let our women know that see men boys husbands fathers they are relying on them with the back with the, with the support of the fathers and the men do you understand mm -hmm. yes they may not be able to do it alone but they should know in the society men and daddies who are ready to support them and let them do what let them go for it they should push it until they have it okay so can we go rural a bit i mean um, we know on a societal level to a large extent some women maybe understand their their place in life but from the rural certain a whole lot of them have this mentality where they feel everything about you is for your husband and then probably um, in training up your children you have to give priority to the boys than the girls i wouldn't want to mention tribes and in this case where you don't have a say of um, whom to choose if you want to marry they just give you who to be married to how do you um, create awareness or how, how do you enlighten such people that's what i'm saying that this protest that for example in nigeria now in africa mm -hmm. um what i expect them to do now is to begin we have ngos all over ngos everywhere and I want to, I want to, I want to please admonish our NGO in Lagos. Please, Lagos is almost oversaturated. Mm -hmm. Go to remote areas. The grants and the money that, that you are getting. Please go to places like where you mentioned now. They will know when they do their research. They know, especially when you follow the SDG goals. For, do you, you not think education also plays a vital role? That, that's this? what I'm saying. They should go there and educate them. Mm -hmm. They should go there and expose them and, and talk to the parents. Bring the parents together, talk to them separately. Bring the children together, talk to them separately. But especially the parents. Go through PTA, you know, parents teachers association, through religious um, bodies mm -hmm. and all that, see, um, the civil society organizations. Go through all those and go to the state house of assembly, the local government. Mm -hmm. That's how you can reach the grassroots. Especially the religious centers. Okay. Engage PFN, engage CAN, engage the Islamic Organization of Nigeria, engage all those, you know, big, big daddies at the end of affairs. Let them see the danger in what they are doing now. In the next 10 years, it should not be like that. It's only building and breeding what I call uh, 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 rebellion. Okay, please, before we let you go, I, I, I'm also looking at it. Do you think this, um, some of this should be infused into our curriculum um, activities? Maybe it should be included into your educational syllabus season? That is the work of the NGOs. We okay. have curriculum developers across board mm. that I know some that they even work for international organizations mm. to tell you how good they are, mm. how professional they are, how, how internationally certified they are. Mm. We have them. But are we engaging them? This is the, this is the tragedy of governance in Nigeria, mm. that you put a round peg in a square hole. Mm. That's the problem. Somebody who does not know anything about sport, you, put, you give him the minister or you give him a, a commissioner of sport. What, what, he doesn't know what to do. No vision, no dream. Mm. The only dream and vision he has is more money, how to enrich his pocket. Mm. Do you get it? Yes, we do. This, this is the issue. And we need to see, if we want to have any change, true change, the youth and women must be crying out every day. Every second. Okay. Through every day, through media, through religious organizations. And please permit me to say this before you I will, go. But just before, before okay. you say your last word, let me just take um, this particular comment uh, uh, Frank Mwakba uh, from Abba, uh, he says uh, uh, women are right uh, matches to the men. Uh, they are not to be matched down. Wow, yeah. wow. What's the name of that man? Frank Mwakba from, from Abba. Oh, thank you, sir. That, that's a good one. Mm. Women are matched with we men. Yeah, they, they are, are not, not to supposed matched. to be matched down. Wow, I think that's a quote we need to tweet. Mm. Thank mm. you very much, Mr. Okay. Frank. All right, so I'm, I need to say this. Women raise boys to become men. Mm. There, I've seen a lot of projects on gay child, gay child. Mm. If you raise a girl to become a queen, 
and you leave that boy to become a tout, he will ruin the queen he raised. raised. Wow. Yeah. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yes. Begin to raise boys to become men. And finally, engage the eighth law of highly effective uh, people of Stephen Covey. Find your voice. Mm -hmm. How do you find your voice? As you climb, lift others to climb. Okay. Joe Oduma King, fantastic woman over the years. The question is, who are the people you are raising now to take over? In the next few years, you are not going to have the energy to run on the street again. Mm -hmm. Raise somebody. Reverend Adejumo and our mummies in the religious sector, Obiese Kwezili, Ibukwa Wushika, few names that I can mention, yeah. mm -hmm. begin to raise women like you that will take over the platform when you are old. All right, well said. Uh, uh, for the past uh, 10, 13 minutes or about, we've been speaking to certified life coach at Winga Ademujimi. We've been looking at women emancipation, well, today being International Women's Day, and uh, with the uh, the theme for the year, hashtag press for progress. But that is that as much as we can take on this segment. Remember, women are not to be subjugated. Women are not supposed to be pushed to the back doors. Women are supposed to be in the forefront. Women are supposed to stand side by side with men. Women are our mothers, women are our sisters, women are our wives, and women would always be part of us. Uh, that's as much as we can take. We'll take a quick break and when we come back we'll be having a timeout.